What? What's up, everybody? This is Danny. And Holly. And today we're going to be looking at the Full Moms Origami. We've been using the Origami Stroller now for about six months, so we couldn't wait to share our thoughts with you. And we also wanted to show you some of the accessories. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions is that you cannot use the Origami Stroller with a newborn, and you can with an optional bassinet. Everything shown is going to be available on the 4Moms website as well as Amazon.com and if you're interested in purchasing, we'll leave a couple links below for you. In this video, we're going to unbox the stroller and show you how to assemble it. But before we get started, just wanted to let you know this is an $849 stroller. You might think, wow, that is a lot of money. But for higher end strollers, actually, it's right in line with this competition on price. One of the things that I love about the 4Moms product is that the packaging in the box is very nice and some people don't care about the packaging but I think it makes for a better experience. Now there are the handlebar caps right there and the allen tool for you to put this together. There is the AC power adapter because you will have to charge this thing about every two weeks. The last thing you'll find in the box is the seat and it comes all pre-assembled just like the frame of the origami. Now standard it comes in the black and silver color and you will also see the storage bag right here and we'll show you that later on in this video and how that functions. You're also going to get a product registration card as well as a quick start guide but you're not going to need that quick start guide because that's what we're here for and Danny's going to show you how to put it together. So there are all the parts laid out right there. That's exactly what it should look like. Now, the first thing I want to go over is how to fold and unfold the origami stroller. And it's extremely simple. You want to go ahead and turn that silver knob to the left and you will see some blue rings light up. And once that happens, go ahead and hit that orange four and it will collapse. And to open, you do exactly the same process. Now let's go ahead and start the assembly with the handlebars. You want to put them on both sides and tighten both sides with the Allen key and finish them off with these handlebar caps. The next thing we're going to put on is the storage bag. You're going to find two clips, one at the bottom and one at the mid base. And all you have to do is clip those on and that's how the storage bag attaches to the origami. Next, we're going to install the seat. Now there is a red pin right there. Just pull that back and look right above the display and that's exactly where the first pin slots into. And then if you look at the bottom, you can see that's where the second red pin slot goes into. And I had a little bit of a tough time getting this to line up. So you're just gonna need to pull on it a little bit and get that to slot in. But once you do, it is a secure fit. So who needs a manual, right? That was extremely easy to put together and there it is all assembled. But next we want to get to the most important accessory in my opinion, the bassinet. This $150 accessory allowed us to use it from day one with Hudson and is definitely recommended for anyone who wants to use this stroller with the newborn. With Hudson being a winter baby, this cover came in very handy in keeping him warm on those first doctor's appointments that we had to go to. But if you've got a summer baby, don't worry, it's very easy to remove. It also comes with a very comfortable pad for the bottom of the bassinet. Installation of the bassinet is super easy. You just have to remove the seat that Danny just showed you how to install. There's also a liner that goes inside the bassinet. It is removable and machine washable. So if you get any stains or anything on it, you can remove it. We're going to show you a little bit more about the bassinet later on in this video because we were able to use it for an extended period of time. As you can see, we chose the green insert for our stroller. They've got many colors available, just pick the one that suits you and your baby. As of right now, 4Moms do not offer a tray option for the origami. However, there are two cup holders on either side of the seat for the baby, as well as two large cup holders up by the handlebars for the parents. The insert is made of a durable, machine washable fabric that is easily removable via Velcro. The only thing I wish they would have done was make the strap covers removable by Velcro so that way they were easy to wash. Even though this looks like a durable material, it is nice and padded and it feels soft and Hudson has enjoyed his time with it so far. The wheels on the stroller are slim and sleek and do extremely well over smooth surfaces, but it does not perform too well when it comes to rougher terrain such as gravel, rock, or grass, so don't expect it to perform well there. But this is a city stroller. 
one of the best we've ever tested. It's an easy ride, easy push, and I think you'll enjoy it too. Now the design of the origami, it is very futuristic looking. I think some people might not like it because of that, but I love it with the front lights right there. It makes it look like a badass stroller. There's so many people that have come up to us and ask us, what kind of stroller is that? Or wow, that's a nice looking stroller. So be prepared for people to look at you while you're using it, especially when you are folding it and unfolding it. As a tech lover, I was automatically drawn in to the origami stroller because of the technology built inside. You can see the LCD panel right here shows the battery percentage, the temperature, the trip, and also the miles per hour, and also has a backlight if you're gonna use it in the dark. The back wheels are attached to a generator that recharges your battery every time you push the stroller. There's also a sensor that detects your baby inside of the stroller so you cannot fold while that baby is inside of the seat. So that is a great safety measure. If you're a heavy cell phone user, then 4Moms has a option where you can get a cell phone charger with the pouch. And what it does is it attaches right to the LCD portion right up there and allows you to draw the power off of the origami stroller so you can recharge your cell phone. So whatever cord you got with your phone should work just fine long as it's a USB connection. Very simple and you should be ready to go right here. Now the one thing that I did notice is that older phones like the Samsung Galaxy S4 have no problems charging whatsoever. But phones like the Galaxy S5 and the iPhone 5S I could not get to charge. So you may want to contact 4Moms before you purchase this because not every phone is compatible. Here's the storage bag that we showed you how to install earlier. Now, it's not very large, so you're not gonna fit much in it. There are some other options for storage on the stroller, but if you're gonna be wanting to put a large diaper bag like the ridiculously large one that I have underneath the stroller, it's not gonna happen. One of my favorite features of the stroller is the brake. It is definitely flip-flop friendly. As you can see, it's an easy push, to lock and to unlock. As we promised you earlier, we would go back to the bassinet and here it is. I like the build quality of it. It is a little bit bulky, but it does a very good job of deflecting wind and keeping your baby safe. And one of the best things about it is the extended canopy. It keeps the sun out of their eyes and it's really good when they want to go to sleep. But if you want to go ahead and give them some sun and expose them and give them a little convertible style, then there it is. Very simple to do. The materials inside of the bassinet is kind of the same material that is on the seat, easily cleanable and machine washable. And the pad is a very nice base for the bassinet, but we did put a blanket underneath there to make it a little bit more comfortable. The four wheel suspension, besides giving it a nice ride, also has a little bit of an Easter egg here. It is very bouncy, so you can rock your kid to sleep. I mean, Hudson loved motion, so standing still with him, he would just cry like crazy. But with the four moms origami, we're able to kind of rock him to sleep, and that is a fantastic feature. Even though this is the perfect stroller to walk around the mall with, you may run into some problems navigating through some smaller stores because of the wide wheelbase on the stroller. So you may bump into a few things, but don't worry, the stroller can handle it. As a mom, if there's one thing I dread doing more than changing poopy diapers, it's folding and unfolding a stroller and putting it in the car. Now, this stroller is great. It takes care of the folding mechanism, perfect for you. The only thing I don't like about it is the weight of the stroller. It weighs a ton and I have such a problem with picking it up and putting it in the car. Now if you need to wheel it around, they've actually added some convenient little wheels on the front of the stroller so you can roll it like a suitcase. Now that our little Hudson is six months old, he has graduated out of the bassinet and into the seat. And one of the greatest things here is this canopy. And it's got this extended length here where it covers almost all of his body, does a great job of protecting him from the sun. It's got this little peekaboo feature here where you can just open it and take a look and see what he's doing. This summer was ridiculously hot, so walking at dusk or almost nighttime was our only option, and these lights are a great safety feature that are gonna help you and your baby be protected while you're walking at dusk. So these lights get very bright at night and they will definitely see you coming. 
even though we like this stroller a lot, there are some things that we wish that they would have done better. Now, one of the things is the recline feature. And even though it is adjustable on the back, the recline is really not that deep. I'm sure that it has to do with the design of the origami and the way that the spine is on the back, but hopefully they find a way to give it a little bit better of a recline feature on the next refresh. Another feature that I would like to see on a refresh is maybe a deeper seat. As you can see, this is not a very deep seat and Hudson likes to do this thing that we call bananaing out of his seat. It's where he arches his back and sometimes it scared us a little bit because there's a potential that he could fall out of the stroller so we have to be very very careful with him. For bigger kids I'm sure that's not a problem but that's just something that we're having to deal with at this very moment. The next issue is really more of an inconvenience than a dislike. You have to charge this thing about every two weeks. Yes, it does charge every time that you use it, but not enough for you to avoid this two week charging period. So some people might find this to be an inconvenience because if you don't have any battery, you will have to manually fold it. In my opinion, the automatic fold definitely outweighs the once in every two weeks charge. The next one is more of a tech request, so hopefully in the next iteration, maybe they'll put a touchscreen on here, maybe run Android, give it a little bit more of a integration with your smartphone where you can use GPS and you can use Bluetooth and have some music capabilities and other things like that. So I would like to see that, even though it's already cool, I would like to see this tech get pushed to the next level. So in conclusion, I really like the Origami Stroller. I think it's a nice push. I think it has great build quality and I really love the tech inside. It is the most technologically advanced stroller on the market and that really appeals to me and the automatic fold and unfold is absolutely incredible and it's nothing like I've ever seen before. I've also enjoyed using the Origami even though the positives outweigh the negatives, there are a few things that I'd like to see improved. First being the recline feature, the second being the weight of the stroller, and the third, maybe some additional storage options. We really enjoy using the 4Moms Origami Stroller. It is our go-to city stroller. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and let me know if you enjoyed this review and let me know if you have any questions and also hit us up on Twitter at HDBabyReviews and we will see you guys in the next video and we would love some feedback and thank you for watching. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next video.